Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get materials donated for your classroom. I know as teachers we spend a lot of our money on resources or basic necessities that our kids need. About seven years ago I discovered DonorsChoose.org and it changed my life. I have gotten about 70 projects funded which is over $40,000 donated to my classroom and my kids. Our class has been blessed with a printer, games for centers, all sorts of flexible seating, back to school supplies, technology, headphones, books, backpacks, robotics, reading rewards, and much, much more. If you complete your first project this month, you can use the link under this video on the description and you'll automatically get a $50 donation for your first project. I'm Emma Balansai and I will show you how to get started and bring this funding to your classroom. Donors Choose is a free platform for teachers to request resources for their classroom. Basically, you write about a request or need that your classroom has and it gets published on their site for four months. Donors get to choose which teachers they want to support based on what they read about teachers' requests. Anyone can donate to your project, including philanthropists, family, or organizations. And once that project is fully funded and you meet your goal, Donors Choose ships the items directly to your classroom. During the pandemic, they have given the option to mail to your home, but usually they send it to the school. Okay, so let's get started. First, you're going to go to DonorsChoose.org and click on Sign In. Click on Create an Account. And you're going to type in your personal email address and your full name. Next, you're going to find your school. Once you're done with the basic information, you can go ahead and get started with your standard project. But before you start, I want you to look at the matches that you have in your state by clicking down here where it says find match offers. I always go to this page because I like to see if there's anything um, that I can use or that will give me more donations to my project. For example, here there's one on team sports or for middle school students, subscriptions. So there's always some here posted and I like to take advantage of those. Once you have found something, or if there's nothing that really matches what you're wanting to request, click on Let's Go. Go ahead and choose your grade level, number of students, and then they're going to ask for you to describe your students. So you're going to tell them a little bit about what you love about your students and give specific details um, if you're a first year teacher, or let them know um, something about your students that make them special, etc. After that, you get to go shopping and you can choose any of these vendors to choose the supplies that you want to request. I do recommend that you stay under $600. Keep in mind that the less the amount, the more likely you are to get your project funded. So I would recommend starting small um, or if you have a big project in mind, split it up into different parts. That way you're more likely to get it funded. And um, you do need to choose items that add up to a minimum of $100. So, for example, let's say I want to request um, supplies for a reading activity or a reading center. I'm going to go to Lakeshore and type reading. And I'm going to choose items for small reading center for hands-on. For example, this item, I'm going to add it to cart and I'm just going to add another one just as an example. And I have more than $100, so I'm going to view my cart. It looks like you're going to purchase it, but you're not. You're actually going to submit to a purchasing system. Once you click on it here, they will add a third party payment processing fee and um, some plates, some of these sites might also add um, shipping, it all depends. Here you're going to quickly summarize what's in your cart. So you're going to be very specific and let them know exactly what is in um, what you are ordering and um, what it's for. 
Next, you're going to talk about the project details. So pick a very catchy project title that you can name it. And then you're going to answer, will any of these resources be used to help students learn at home for during the pandemic? That way, uh, maybe they can ship it to your home if it has to do with remote learning. And then talk about your project. And here is where I really like to give the donor a picture of what these um, resources will be used for and how they're going to make an impact on my students. I always talk about how often I will use these items and what my goal is to accomplish with them. So explain as much as you can um, and make sure you're very specific in how you're using those resources. Then you're going to go ahead and choose which subject areas they will help in. You can choose up to two. Anytime your project receives a donation, you will get a notification by email. I always like to reply promptly and thank the donor for their generosity. If your project gets funded, you will need to confirm that you still need the items requested and write a thank you letter. After you receive your donations, you will be instructed to upload six photos of your class using the resources. Mail thank you letters for the donors and write a thank you message letting the donors know how their donation impacted your class. Teachers, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I wish you a lot of success in getting donations and materials that you need for your class.